Hi y'all, it's Nikki with Nikki's Crochet Nook back to update you on life and just my craziness. No, not really. Um, I wanted to come on and do my 2020 goals for my channel, for my personal life, for, well, just round about all of that. Um, I do plan to do a massive de-stash. I have a lot, a lot of yarn. Um, I have... Probably nine huge totes of yarn and then I have probably another eight medium and probably about 12 smalls and I really would like to get through that yarn because technically the majority of it is sitting in storage in it and it's just taking up space I don't need to and so um, I mapped out or designed or planned I don't know how you want to say it about 45 different blankets last year most of them are corner to corner grafkins. Um, several are going to be mommy and me blankets for my daughters and their children. And um, there's a few other ones that are in there that are also for family members that I plan to have done by the end of the year. That's probably what majority of my project's going to be this year. Um, my aunt's sweater I still have not completed because I've kind of been working on smaller objects for Christmas. I made oh, 14 of these, or by the time I'm done, it'll be like 15, 16, I think. Um, it was the from Bag o' Days bandana cow, but instead of doing, she has it where it's like a front post uh, collar on it. I just did a double crochet because of the yarn I used. It's the brunette velvet, and um. It's just so thick that doing that front post, back post on it, it just looked weird. So I went ahead and just did a double crochet collar on it. Um, this yarn is extra soft. It holds up. It's very warm. And I love it. I just love it. My daughters love all their cows. Um, if I remember, I'll try to post like maybe some pictures in of the cows that I did for Christmas uh, for a lot of people in my life I even did a couple for an auction so that works out anyway so I um, haven't updated it y'all on a lot of stuff I've had a lot of acquisitions um, I just did the video for the lighter company to catch up on excuse me to catch up on my boxes since October and kind of refresh my October box um, if you have not gotten yours, do not watch this that video. <laughs> I ought to put that in the description over there. Anyway, um, I had asked uh, Mama Hodge, Becca Hodge, to make me some stitch markers because um, I saw her do these show these charms and like instantly messaged her and was like, "I need a set of those and I want the letters." And I haven't used these because I'm too scared I'm going to mess them up. But they are the letters, and they are angel stitch markers. But they're for the letter on the hook instead of the... And she did from D to L. She does some beautiful stitch markers, and I just love it. And by the way, Becca Hodge, I miss you. I ain't seen you in a while. I'm sure you kind of did like me and got worn out with all the holidays and stuff, so... Um... I'm going to try to start doing bi-weekly videos uh, with, that I'll have whatever I'm working on. If I decide to do a crochet along with anybody, which I don't know that this year I'm going to try to do any of that. Because I really want to work on that stash down. Um, it just depends. I've even thought about doing Llama Mama Kayla, I think, is um, the one that does the bingos. And I've thought about doing hers, but I don't know. I don't crochet fast. I'm a very slow crocheter because in all honesty I probably get about two hours maybe three hours a day to crochet and I'm often distracted by other things going on I have grandbabies I have kids I have friends you know it's just hanging out by the way Candace I hung your ornament up here behind me <laughs> and uh, I just want to try to get more on a schedule of y'all seeing my funny face Anyway, I'll be nice to myself. But, um, 
my ant sweater I'm almost done just not quite and I will be showing it in my next video hopefully I will be finished with it by then um, the cows that I did for Christmas kind of took over everything and I worked on those non-stop for everybody and then um, a adopted daughter of mine that I worked with at an old restaurant as a server she had a baby his him was born this last Monday and him's absolutely handsome and him's my new grandson and um, she requested a special cow and <laughs> Y'all, I could not find a pattern anywhere for this movie. Um, I don't know if any of y'all remember the movie that came out in the late 90s, early 2000s called A Bug's Life. There was Flick and I, um, there was a girl and I can't remember the girl's character's name. But that's what she asked for. She said, Mom, I want a, I want a Bug's Life nursery. That's what we're doing. And I was like, alright, cool. I thought, oh, that'll be a breeze. It's Disney. I'll be able to find the artwork in no time. No. There is not a single pattern for this character anywhere. I looked on Etsy. I looked on Ravelry. I looked on Google. I looked on Pinterest. Nothing. So, I kind of fedazzled it. And this is my flick. Please do not judge me harshly because I really did fudge him. I like, uh, He was a darker blue and I could not get a darker blue than this one and I didn't want to have his head on there because I felt like it wouldn't separate it. So colors do kind of eh, not quite mesh. But here's my flick, lovey y'all. And I hope he looks cute and I hope she loves him and he's even got the blue eyes. I got the safety eyes off of Amazon, a whole box of them. I want to say I paid like 12 bucks. And it came with a ton of safety eyes. I've probably got 500 safety eyes. And, uh, but I literally fedazzled him. Like, there was no pattern. I sat down and I just worked and worked and worked and worked and got it to where he looked like he was supposed to. And, because it's Bugs Life, um, the colors of the movie are a lot of green, neon green, because they're, of course, they're ants, so they're on the ground, and blues. So I figured, little boy green and blue will work and I hope she loves him he'll be flying out on Monday go to his new home to my grandson that's kind of been the thing that I make for everybody around me that has babies that are uh, that I only get a few times to a few months to get caught up to um, sorry I'm umming a lot y'all uh, my plan for 2020 would be to reach possibly 10,000 subs by the end of the year. Don't know if it's going to happen. Hope it does. think that'd be awesome. My biggest thing is I haven't been real big into the video in and that is my fault. Because I honestly would be like, oh, I need to do a video. And then I'd be like, yeah, yeah no, I want to lay here. I just, I went through an extreme exhaustion in um, October, November, December. And I'm finally starting to feel right. Except for yesterday, I, had, I got a lovely migraine, and we had an ice storm here, and it was just, I stayed home, and I got some extra rest, which is probably why I feel like videoing today. <laughs> but, um, several things. I want to be able to go to a Yarnival, a Yarn Fest, um, Crafters Fair, something like that. I would love to be able to participate in one. Maybe not this year, maybe next year. Um... I would love to get to where I can go meet y'all and meet other YouTubers and see the country at the same time. I've been talking to everybody about one of these days I'm going to convince Uber to let me drive cross country and I'm still going to work on that. I think it'd be awesome to go travel the country and Uber while I do it and make my money and be able to see what I want to see and at the same time be able to enjoy my life. So we'll see how that works out but I'm going to try my best. Um, <laughs> I had probably 75 to 100 um, yarn bands between the ones that my grandmother left that were from the 80s and the 70s <laughs> in her box of patterns that I got and ones from recent patterns and balls of yarn that I've bought. And they were just stacked up in a drawer and they were always kind of in the way and kind of a mess. So, I happened to be at Walmart and caught this on clearance, this notebook right after school, uh, supplies time. 
and it was 75 cents and I just thought it was a cool little composition notebook and I then started taking those ball bands and I started putting them in here they're in no specific order they're just thrown in there these are one of the ones from the 80s see how old that is and she paid 99 cents for that skein at Ben Franklin so I just added them all in here and I thought they came out it keeps them organized and I can kind of flip through here and see what band patterns I have and took up almost the whole spiral the whole notebook so that was one thing I thought maybe some of you ladies y'all like to keep track of your uh, ball bands during the year maybe you could do that and that way you still have the patterns and it's re you know it's reusable and it's something that will keep them safe and they won't get torn and ransacked. I literally used a glue stick and stuck them in there. And the ones that were really long and had a picture on them, like the picture was on the back and on the inside was a pattern. I cut the pattern out and then cut the picture out and glue it together so I knew what what it was supposed to look like and what the pattern went with. So I thought that look, work, would work out really great. Um, I am going to work this year on also becoming a realtor um, for the state of Texas because that's something I've wanted to do for a very long time and I always let a lot of people tell me, no, 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 don't do that. It's not worth it. You're not going to make money. You're going to struggle, da, da, da. And honestly, y'all, I love looking at houses. I love looking at the architecture and I love looking at the different design thought processes that went into them and... Amarillo has a lot of historical homes from the 1890s to the mid-1920s to the 50s to the 70s to the 80s. Like, Amarillo is always growing, and I just love the difference in the architectures and the way they decide to set these houses up. And so I I think I'd enjoy being a realtor, and that's what I'm going to try to do and um, maybe get licensed in a couple other states so that I can also travel with that. Um... I'm going to work on publishing patterns. Most likely my first few patterns will be free because I kind of feel like they're just basic patterns that anyone can pick up and figure out. And at the same time, I didn't, I just came up with the design and it's not really a extensive design. So I don't see the point in charging because that's not fair to anybody, you know, especially if you're just starting out crochet. Um, Every day, I'm um, on Last Minute Laura, Monday through Friday. We get on there, we chat. We chat about plants. We chat about pets. We chat about what our moods are that day, what's going on in our worlds. And I have met some of the most awesome people on that channel every morning. Um, she's the sweetest young lady out of uh, Canada, and I just love watching her. Um, and we have friends from all over Australia, Netherlands, uh, one's in Ireland, one is in Denmark, I think. They have them all over Australia. Yeah. Um, she's usually 6 a.m. Central Standard Time, 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I believe it is. And it's just a real fun get together and uh, left is right Sandy comes on there every once in a while Mama Hodge will catch up on there um, we have several 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 that join on there and we just talk about everything and it's just awesome to be there so that's a daily thing of mine now I, I literally sit, have to sit down and watch um, her then um, I've been wanting to learn for a really long time how to knit biggest thing and my daughter told me I was adorable for this I want to learn how to knit socks because I think it'd be neat for me to be able to knit my own socks and my grandbabies have their own pair of socks that they're not knitted for them and that my kids have socks that their mom knitted for them then you know that's something that it would last for a really long time and something that they'll always have so that they can feel me around them if something ever was to happen to me so <laughs> I have with the encouragement of Carrie Penny um, Happy Crafter Homemaker and Hannah 
over at the crochet cottage. I have picked up knitting. <laughs> um, and I think I'm doing pretty good. Oh, yeah. And Chevy Rail. Chevy Rail is an awesome one. It makes me want to make a sweater. And I'm not brave enough to make a sweater yet. So we're working on it. But she kind of asked me to join the dark side. And I think I have. I, I actually like it. It's relaxing. And it is definitely a nice step away from crocheting. So don't laugh. Okay, I don't have much. I haven't been working on it much, but I'm trying. I, this is a dishcloth that I'm making. And I will border it with crochet. But, uh, <laughs> that's the stock net stitch. And I have about 15 rows in. Um, every morning while I watch Last Minute Aura, I sit here and I work back and forth. And I usually do about two, three rows and put it down because it makes my thumbs hurt right now because I still haven't learned how to control my tension on their needles. I'm still a real tight knitter. Um, not a tight knitter. Grippy knitter. That's what I'm going to call that one. Anyway, so that's what I've been up to. Um, just work, crocheting, sleeping, being exhausted, normal life. Um, I did take a fall a couple weeks ago, which I did, or about a week and a half ago that I mentioned in my card video. I am feeling much better. Thank you for everybody who sent me their regards. I appreciate it. Um, I just, I'm a klutz and I tend to fall and I kind of hurt myself this time. So <laughs> my body had to heal up, but, um, thank you to all my new subscribers. Also, I'm going to put my address in the, uh, description box and if y'all would like to get a card from me on the occasion or you know I may surprise you with something who knows um please email me give me your address and I will gladly keep it in my stash um I just I think it'd be nice to have just a little surprise every once in a while pop up in your mailbox and to show my appreciation to you for being a subscriber Please like the video. It helps me out greatly. Please subscribe. And even though I'm goofy, dorky, silly, I don't care what you want to call me, half kilt, share the video. Let somebody know I'm out here and ask them to do the same. Like and subscribe. Um, if you're a fellow Yarniac, as Miss Sandy says, then um, post that. On the, in my comments and I'll go follow you if I'm not already a subscriber majority of y'all if I've had been in live chat with you you've subscribed to my channel I go and subscribe back whether you have videos or not like doesn't matter to me I still subscribe back because I feel like it's a support thing I support you you support me it works out great so uh, I hope everybody has a blessed day and a magnificent week and um keep hooking darlings because we all got a project to make see you next time